John Gaxi coming at you here with another week. I'm uh, very excited, just walking out of uh, Barnes & Noble's bookstore, bought myself a newspaper, and uh, going to be recording something pretty cool, getting together with a friend, and also uh, very excited as tomorrow I leave um, the country to another country, so I will keep you in the loop as to where that is. So I am now here at the airport waiting to board uh, my flight very excited about where I'm going and <laughs> very excited to uh, do a lot of things. Well, for breakfast. What am I making in the pr this primitive kitchen? Yeah, it's a five-star hotel. Look at yeah, the window. Let, yeah, let me hand you a phone. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm making uh, Southwest French toast. I've actually showed this in one of my shows before. And it's very simple, you know, a little bit of olive oil, a tortilla, instead of using bread. And I have uh, the egg here, which I've whipped up a little bit. And what I do is just put the egg in there. Yeah, I've already made some here. You want to show them this? No, don't turn the camera. Oh, sorry. Uh, mm, that looks good. Are you going to eat all those? Yeah, I'm going to eat it by myself. And then show them the, I made the, the filling already. Uh, I already put some salt and put in the uh, avocado. I'm not the best camera person. I do have to say though, even though this is a very primitive kitchen, but the food here is the bomb. It's very fresh. Come over here, come over here. The yogurt tastes good. Oh yeah, we got some yogurt this morning and it tasted really good. So this is for my friend Carlos. He uh, made a special request. He wanted ham in his. So I'm adding that. So see, that's all it takes. So your egg like wraps around just like a French toast, but it's not bread. It's not bread, so it's, you're eating less carbs, uh, keeping it light and healthy, but you're still having those carbs that you need for energy, so. And then we're gonna stuff it like a pita? And then, yeah, and then we stuff, so I'll show you this one. We'll stuff it here. Actually, I need to try this. There's a little bit of salt. I put lemon in that already. Okay. Let me stuff it. So you get some nice, some veggies too, some freshness. And this is the one with no um, That's ham. So you can stuff this one like this too. Oh, that's pretty good. Yep. My mouth is watering. So they're like um, breakfast tacos. So this one's all done. I'm gonna turn that off. You gotta see a pie like this to eat. <laughs> We're about to get a fish spa. We're not, I'm not sure what's gonna happen, but <laughs> we can find out. Put them in, put them in. Put them in, put them in. How does it feel, Lulu? Bugs crawling over my feet. Like little bumps on your feet that are moving around. Getting my feet cleaned. At least that's what they told me. Feels pretty cool though. Hello, what's up? Get out of the way. Yeah. Now this is what's up. This is how you eat in Mexico, huh? You got your tortillas, just about every kind of roadkill. Chips and salsa. Chips and salsa. Beautiful looking people. 
This chili's is good. And some beans and some chili and Johnny. some other stuff. Hey, what's up? Hold on, I want to show them the place. This is uh, Coco Bongo. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> some restaurant, La Parrilla. Get to see the baboon over there. Uh, we were told uh, not to put our feet in there because there's a uh, crocodile. But we'll be going to the beach later. Alright, buen provecho like we say in Spanish. We can do this. Come on, hot. Long day, guys. Yeah, long day. <laughs> but look, we get to relax. Babe, just sit. Look, look. Clean feet. Where are the fishies, Lulu? <laughs> They're gone.